Hallelujah, salvation and glory, honor and power, he is wonderful. Yo, I'm on my uh I'm on my spiritual kick. Uh anyways, I want to talk about uh guys don't forget to check out my album uh just right there. You can just Google it and check out my video, Soul Ties. It's uh it's on one of my videos, just it's a music video that I made. Anyways. Speaking of soul ties, when you're tied to somebody spiritually in a good or a bad way. Uh, a lot of times we don't consider the fact that our body uh, can inhabit spirits, many of them. And uh, this is a lot of time we have somebody who has a reprobate mind, they go one way or the other. This is also one of the reasons why the saying, what goes around comes around, is very true. Because the spirits that inhabit us, they don't get tired. They don't have uh, a limit to uh, their energy like we do. You know, we have to sleep. They don't. <sighs> you know, it's like God, you know, God says he doesn't sleep nor slumber. Uh, so spirits can just keep going and going and going, and especially uh they can keep you going and going. I mean, they can come in your room at night, you know, and they can just wake you up. That's happened to me on countless occasions. And I'm woke and I'm like, whoa, what just happened? Uh, I've, I've, I've heard a spirit call my name. I've heard a spirit, a felt spirit pressing on my bed, you know, or I've heard something in another room fall down and I go in there and I'd be like, how did that fall? And it's because spirits, they, they're all over the place. And, um, you know, they'll come at you any old kind of way if you're not careful. But they can also inhabit you. And uh, like I said, the saying what goes around comes around. Very true. So if you treat somebody in a certain way, there's a spiritual, a spiritual element to what you're doing. You think it's just you. You think it's your personality. No. Nope. No, nope. you, you're being influenced some kind of way, whether good or bad. You know, if you have somebody who is always loving uh, uh, towards you and loving on you, that they have a loving spirit about them. Like, there's a guy who comes to the gym, and, uh, you know, he's like this. You, you can tell that he has a real friendly spirit about him because whenever he walks in the gym, everybody in there who knows him wants to talk to him. They gravitate towards this guy. It's amazing. And, 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 <laughs> I mean, people with spirits like that, a lot of times, you know, they come up against somebody like me who doesn't really want to talk to everybody, but they have that spirit of wanting to communicate with everybody. And so, it, you know, you have that, you know, thing going on. But eventually, people like me will recognize what's going on with them. Like, this brother just, he just has that real kind, friendly spirit about him. And that's a good thing. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, People want to talk to him. You see, like, the biggest guys in there, when they see this guy, when this guy comes in, they just, like, they get all energetic. And next thing, they, <laughs> I've even seen guys go from one part of the gym to the other just to go over and talk mess with him because of his spirit. And they forget about their workout. Like, I'm watching this whole thing happen. I'm like, oh, here, here he come. And I watched the whole thing happen and how he galvanizes all these people who don't even know each other. Some of them don't even know each other, but they know him. And they want to get to, to, to know him because he talks about the things that they want to hear. And he is just a really, really friendly person. So it's not all the time that you're spiritually influenced and it's a bad thing. But uh, like I said, when it comes to what goes around, comes around. That's because that spirit that's in you, causing you to do uh, good or bad to somebody. If you're treating somebody bad, <clears throat> you're treating somebody bad in any shape, form, or fashion. 
that spirit that you're using to do that. It, and you know you're doing it. You're you're well aware. It's not like you're like, oh, I made a mistake. You're like, ah, you know, and you, you know, you think it's cute and going your little friends like, ah, okay. That same spirit is going to jump off of you onto somebody else that you're connected to. Next thing you know, they're going to be doing it to you. And you're going to be like, yo, why you treat me like that? It's because it's a spirit. You didn't know and you thought it was all, you know, fun when you was doing it to somebody, but then they decided to do it to you. And you're not going to, you know, know why. You know, if somebody wants to, um, you know, somebody is trying to, like at work, you find a lot of this at, at your jobs where you have, you know, people who are just petty and catty and just manipulative to each other at the job for no reason. It's just like, this is our job. We ha all have to work here. But I've worked in office jobs where they do that. They just start picking with you for no reason at all. That is a spirit. It's either for one reason or another. That's the spirit that they carry. And uh, next thing you know, you know, it starts happening to them. You know, people, I've, I've, seen, that, I've seen that spirit bounce from one person to another. But like I said, you know, when you do stuff like that and you go around and you, you know, when you celebrate that type of activity, then it comes back to you. And uh, you can want to communicate. Like I said, at work, you want to communicate with somebody. They don't want to communicate with you. That's happened to me before. They just stop talking to you. It's just like, ah, come on, we got to work together. You know what I mean? But they'll just stop talking to you for some reason. Or when they talk to you, they, they act like they don't want to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? It's just like here. Like uh, I like I went up to the Microsoft store and the, and the white woman in the store didn't want to talk to me. You know, I asked about a very expensive computer. You would think if somebody comes in and asked about a $3,000 computer that you want to talk to that person. But because she's a mean, probably racist and has a mean spirit about her, she just answered my question, yes. Went on. And when I went to ask her more questions, she knew I was trying to get her attention. So she would immediately, you know, uh, uh, be ignorant instead of, didn't even walk away. She would try to get somebody else's attention, act like she's trying to help them. I'm just like, okay, I get it. You, you have a mean spirit about you. You don't want to talk to me. Fine. But I have enough money to buy this computer. It's the reason why I was asking about it because I was thinking about making an investment. But, you know, uh, I, if I do, I won't do it there. So I'm just telling you people, you know, a lot of things that we do are spiritual. And uh, a lot of habits we have, our habits are spiritual. You know, and, um, you know, a lot of these spirits that are in us, they're hiding in us and, and they act like, you think it's your personality and it's not, and they're very dangerous, you know, and unless you start, you know, it, it, recognizing the spiritual world and living in the spirit, this is why sin blinds you. Unless you start living in the spiritual world, you're not going to recognize any of these spirits. It, 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 it's going to be like, it, you're, you're really going to think it's you. You know, a lot of the things that you're doing, you think it's you. It, you're, it's, a, it's a spirit. And if you don't believe it, try it. Like I said, I always say this. Try and stop. Try and stop. But uh, what goes around really, really does come around. And uh, a lot of the times, um, it's something, it could be some, uh, the way that your parents acted. And that spirit will jump right from a parent to a child. Uh, it could be the person you are um, involved with some kind of way. Could be a teammate. Teammate starts acting, you know, you know, a little funny towards a person. Next thing you know, you're acting funny towards that same person. That's a spirit. It happens. You know, it happens a lot with women. You know, and they get that little thing going on. I don't like her. I don't like her either. You don't even know why you don't like her. And this is why you see a lot of fights on, you know, on YouTube and whatnot. Just people fighting. And then sometimes it, it, the, people are like, well, why are they fighting? They don't even know why they're fighting. It, it, it's a spirit. That's what happens. Uh, you know, you know, you, you know, when you treat the person, uh, uh, someone who loves you or somebody who, this happens a lot in, with couples, the person that you're involved with, you know, somebody who loves you, you don't love them anymore. 
you know, you don't have that feeling for them anymore, but they still love you. They're still spiritually bound to you. So they're still trying to talk to you. And this happens a lot with divorces and stuff where the wife or the husband is still trying to talk to their spouse and their spouse is just like, I'm done with you. I don't want to talk to you. And then they start treating them, you know, dismissive. And I have somebody else. I'm in love with somebody else. But they don't know that there's a whole spiritual realm there. There's a whole spiritual battle there, you know, and that battle can get really, really bad. And next thing you know, they're going at each other's throats. You know, that is a spirit that none of that ever has to happen. None of that has to happen. But if you don't recognize it, that spirit, uh, well, those spirits, because there can be more than one of you, will start driving uh, towards a certain element. And it could be lead all the way up to something that's really, really terrible. So I'm just telling you, uh, people, like, I know it's hard to love somebody that you don't like, it doesn't mean you have to be lovey-dovey to them. But it doesn't mean you have to be mean to them. That's what I'm saying. Like, don't don't purposely, like, oh, I'm just going to treat them like, don't, don't, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you not to do that. Because it will return to you. If you do it, you are feeding on a spirit. That spirit will recognize you. And when it comes for what it wants, after after you use it, and it comes for what it wants, it'll be like, now I'm going to do it to you. And it will just happen. And it always does. What goes around truly does come back around. It's your boy Tone to a Peace.